Hi, I'm Emmanuel, and welcome to my workbench. Today I will be hunting a box of quarters and a box of dimes, a mixed hunt today. I haven't opened up either of these, so let's see what I got from the bank. These are sealed. And the dimes are, the dimes are customer wrapped for the most part. And looking at the dimes, uh, yeah, well, they're customer wrapped. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of variety. So can't wait to get into these. And for the quarters, we have customer wrapped rolls as well. That's awesome. I'm gonna start with the quarters. Let's go over to, let me re rearrange everything and I'll come back to you uh, after roll one. Before we get the hunt going, let's have a look at what I'm looking for in this hunt. Of course, any silver dime, any silver quarter is a welcome quarter, but I am looking specifically for a 1957, a 1958, a 1955, and a 1953. No shoulder fold. And over here, the elusive 1973 RCMP uh, large bust. This one is findable in the wild, but uh, it is very rare. I must have gone through maybe two, three hundred uh, Mountie quarters without finding one yet. Moving on over here, 1992, there was a 1992 Caribou. This was the year that they did the commemorative uh, provincial dollars. Uh, the 1992 Caribou, uh, Caribou I believe, was uh, not intended for circulation, so it would be a great find to find that one. And the other NIFC years we have here, 1997, 1998, 1998 with a W mint mark, 19, uh, and 1999 with a P mint mark. This 1999 was an NIFC that I found in my, one of my previous hunts, so I was happy to get that one. And again, other NIFCs over here, a 2000 Caribou, a 2000 Caribou with a W mint mark, and a 2003 Caribou with a WP mint mark. Moving along to my collection, um, there is the variety and a 2009 uh, colored uh, with uh, men's hockey with a raised two that I haven't found yet. Moving right along. And to date, uh, well, 2017 is NIFC and to date I have not found any 2021s uh, in my coin roll hunting. Obviously, I'm also going to be looking for uh, semi-key and key dates, uh, as well as any other varieties that I know of. So stay tuned for that. Let's go on to roll number one. Roll number two, uh, a 2011 colorized wood bison, a 2015 uh, colorized flag. I always like these. Focus. This one has a little scratch on it, though. Maybe I won't keep it. We'll see. I'll keep it. I'll set it aside. Two Americans, a 2018 Voyagers with a P mint mark and a 2013 Great Basin with a P mint mark as well. And an Olympic quarter. I'm setting those aside because one of my subscribers asked me if uh, he could buy a set of Olympic coins from me. So I'm gonna set aside the nicer ones and send them those along to him when I have a full set. Well, I thought I'd bring you in on a roll five for a potential interesting roll. First of all, the ender on here is an, an, Amer is an American quarter and the ender on here is also uh, an American quarter. So let's see, maybe I have a full roll of Americans. Let's have a look. No. Oh, another American. Another American. Another one. So this one is richer than usual in American quarters. Oh, this this is a nice find. I'll take that, of course. I do travel to the states. Look at this. This is an American. There you go. Another one. And another one. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, five. 
15 American quarters. Uh, I will um, bring you in on the end once I find out exactly what I have, and I'll double check these ones for any varieties. Roll 23, the first non-American foreign. So I found a 10 pence piece from the UK from 19, let's focus here, 1997. Awesome. A little bit less awesome. I was shorted on two rolls where a quarter was replaced by a nickel. So I'm actually down 40 cents. But seeing as I have this many Americans, uh, that kind of makes up for that loss. Here we are, roll 25, halfway through the box. A second uh, non-American foreign. I couldn't tell which one country was this. So I used the app Coinoscope, which I recommend to anybody. It took a picture of the coin and identified this as one dirham from Morocco. I believe I've this is the first Moroccan coin that I've ever found. So one dirham from Morocco. 1987 and this is the 1407 is the uh, year in the Muslim calendar which is equivalent to 1987 in the uh, um, Gre Gregorian calendar. There you go. Roll 35. It has been a long time since I found one of these guys. Colorized guys. 2017 uh, commemorative colorized. Glad to have found it. No silver in the box yet. Haven't found silver since May 30th, so let's hope there's silver in the remaining rolls. Roll 36. I did find two 1983 semi-key dates, but they both have the ring of death on it, so I'm probably not going to keep these. But these are a lower mintage year. Well, put it back into circulation. Maybe somebody wants to keep those. Bringing you in on roll 41, because I believe this roll has a lot of interesting things in it. Just I could see from the edges. So let's see what I have here. Let me go very quickly. So one American. Two Americans, three Americans. Two Canadians stuck together. A colorized 2015 Canadian flag. Another American. And another American. So five Americans. We have now, I have now surpassed a full roll because with these five it brings my American total up to 45. So in a box, I have found a, a full roll of American quarters. Roll 45. Another one of these colorized 2017 commemoratives. Well, here you go. Here are the finds in this box. 46 Americans. I will go uh, through these for varieties and book fillers uh, after i am done this summary. And um, two forms, a one um, dirham from Morocco and a 10 pence from Great Britain. And various colorized, I would say that the uh, stars of the show would be these two commemoratives as well as the two Canadian flags. Though this one has a little scratch in it. And of course, uh, I was shorted uh, two quarters with these rolls, uh, with these nickels, I should say. In, in my rolls, I was shorted. And let's see what else, uh, nothing else of note. A few really nice uh, colorized and some older coins that I've, I'm setting aside. However, uh, let me go through these Americans and uh, I will let you know uh, what the results are. Well, after verifying the American coins, uh, there were about four or five uh, upgraders and uh, no varieties. However, five book fillers. Uh, the first one being this uh, 2005 West Virginia, and then the 2012 Acadia, the 2013 Great Basin, the 2017 Ellis Island, and the 2019 Lowell, all are P mint marked. So I'm glad to add those to my book. Now on to the dime hunt. Okay, I have my dimes situated. Oh, by the way, one roll at a time. This is for you. Look. Okay. Back to all seriousness. I have myself situated. 
have a lot of these um, uh, clear uh, wrapped containers, which make it easier to see Americans and whatnot. A few of these have these colored stripes, so I'm kind of, those are possibly have been hunted. But anyways, let's see what I will be looking for. Of course, anything before 1969 is silver and I will be looking for those. Um, so any silver is good silver. I will bring you in on any finds, of course. Hopefully I can fill some holes, maybe upgrade some of these uh, 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 older ones that uh, are kind of beat up. But moving in to um, the varieties, there is a 1980, uh, narrow zero that I'm looking for in 1980. Uh, in 1969, there isn't a spot in here, but there's a very um, rare kind called the large date variety. So uh, of course, I'll keep an eye out for any 1969s with a large date. Of course, the um, not intended for circulation 1998 and 1999 would always be a great find as well as the 2000 W, the 2003 WP. Uh, these would all be awesome finds. Another variety is the 2007 Curved 7. And I haven't found any of those to date. Of course, 2017 is an NIFC as well. Um, and the, of course, we're in 2021 and I haven't come across any 2021 dimes as yet. There's also another 2007 variety where it was struck on uh, the wrong planchet. Um, and so to make sure that I have f the right find, I have to weigh it because it weighs a different um, amount than the normal dime. But if I do come across one of those, I will show you uh, the difference between the two. Here we are at the end of roll one. Uh, I actually have 51 dimes. So one American would be the extra dime. So that's always nice to find. I have three 2007s here. And the just to show you, a uh, normal dime weighs uh, 1.77 grams. So 1.79, this is all within tolerance. The dime from 2007 that is struck on a wrong planchet weighs two and a half grams. So much heavier than this. So if I ever come across one of those, that's, um, I believe it was uh, a German planchet for a German coin that it was struck on. Roll 14, uh, to date four Americans. Uh, but this is the one that I am looking at because it looks silvery. So let's see. It is the, the later bust. So this will be a 1967 or 1968 if it's silver. Ha <laughs> ha, we have silver, 1967, commemorative. That's awesome, silver on the board. This is my first silver since the end of May. May 30th was the last time I found silver in a box. And again, I haven't been hunting too many boxes. Well, let's hope the trend continues. I'll look through this roll and I'll bring you in on any other finds. Roll 19, I missed it by the edge, but we have another silver. This one, a 1968 silver dime, 50% silver. It is not, using my basketball magnet, not magnetic like these guys are. So this one is silver, so two in the box. Awesome. Roll 27, more than halfway through. And uh, as of now, I am at two, four, six, eight, nine Americans, two silvers, and my first non-American foreign from Cuba, a five centavos uh, from 19, well, let me see, I can't see with my, 1994, a 1994 Cuban, five centavos. Roll 34, I caught it by the edge, but I think we have another silver here. I think it's this one. Yeah, there's a young head. Definitely silver. In pretty good shape, if I must say. And I ha it's a 1950, 1954. Awesome. Roll 36 to uh, non-American foreigns, to um, English f new pence, uh, five pence coins. The first one is 
from 1990 and the second one is from 1991. Roll 41, another five pence English coin from 1990. Roll 45, another foreign, this time a half franc, 1987 from Switzerland. And there you have it after the dime box. Uh, these are the finds. Three silvers, it's always nice to have silver. A 1954, a 1967, and a 1968. And uh, the rest are all foreigns. Uh, half franc from uh, Switzerland, five uh, centavos from uh, Cuba, four five pen new pence from England or Great Britain, and 11 dimes. None of them upgraders, none of them book fillers. What's a coin roll hunt without a giveaway? I am giving away with this video uh, unclaimed prizes. Once again, people don't send me an email within a week uh, and they lose their chance to get a coin. So this time I'm doing another 1967 dime that I got uh, that I from my 100 subs giveaway, as well as an uncirculated 2016 di uh, nickel. So if you want to be eligible, look down in, in the comment in the description of the video for the rules. Basically, uh, you have to be 18 uh, to participate in this. You have to leave a comment and uh, in, sometime in the month of August, I will do a draw. And so stay tuned for that video. So that is the end for this hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do enjoy making these videos. If you do it, did enjoy this content, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscription button and that notification bell to know when my next video comes up. And until next time, thanks for watching. Oh,